The world watched and hoped as the mining disaster in Chile unfolded two years ago. Queen's mining engineering students are experiencing their own version of that. The third and fourth year students were putting their skills to the test in a mock mining disaster. They have to rescue two miners in a simulated underground mine fire. We called all of the refuge stations across the, uh, in the mine. The one at 3200 level didn't respond. The two miners are 3,200 feet below ground. Once the rescue team is briefed, they go in. We sent in two teams uh, to, uh, first of all, uh, locate uh, wh uh, whether the miners were in the refuge station, uh, and if they weren't, then to uh, find them and to rescue them. Visibility is so poor, the rescue team is tethered together, and the lead uses a cane to feel his way through the disaster. We created a, a, a simulated scenario of a fire in a mine, where, which can probably be one of the worst case scenarios other than a rock burst. The team went in and they managed to find the machinist right here, but they missed the cross cut and didn't find the refuge station where the other individual is. So now the team has to go back in and locate the refuge station. Even though the situation isn't real, it gives the students a good feel for what they could face in a worst case scenario. While finding the miners is important, so is safety. The students have to keep an eye on their oxygen. They have detectors to check for explosive gases like methane. And to stay on top of everything, each team member is given very specific tasks. Every once in a while I'd be checking the gas. Like, it wouldn't affect us because we have a pro positive pressure system, but for the victims you need to make sure there's no um, like carbon monoxide or, CA or, or methane, which could be explosives. I'm in charge of, I guess, stretcher movement, stuff like that. Make sure I'm last man, so I make sure no one gets left behind. Trained and prepared, the students are ready to react, but hope they never have to use their new skills. Darren Davis, CKWS Newswatch, Kingston.